everyone and welcome to Baha Yogi TV. My name is Alex and I'm super excited to flow with you today. Today we will be flowing through a beginner sequence, totally suitable for all levels. So go ahead, grab your mat, anything else you may need, and let's get started. begin in a cross-legged position, also known as Sukhasana, easy pose, or anything else that works for you, crisscross applesauce. If you do find a little bit of discomfort in this pose, you can always take a bolster or a rolled up towel and place it underneath your hips for a little bit more elevation. So go ahead and find that pose that works and then plant your palms to the tops of your knees. Draw back through your shoulders, sit up nice and tall. And we'll start our sequence with five deep breaths in and out of your nose. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release. Four more, inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. Good. So we set the foundation for our breath. Now let's connect that breath to movement. On your inhale, draw your shoulders up towards your ears. And as you exhale, press them down away from your ears. Find a little bit more of extension through the neck. Good. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, release. Three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale up, and exhale down. Good, keeping the hands to the front of the knees. On your inhale, send your chest forward, draw back through the shoulders, release the chin from the chest. And then as you exhale, find a round through the back, spread the shoulder blades across and tuck the chin into your chest. Good, four more, inhale. Spread open across the chest. Exhale, find your arch. Be sure to connect your breath with each movement, two more. Last one. Good. Return to center. Begin to take circles around your seat. You can start it off nice and slow. I like to visualize what I'm stirring to tell me how my hips are feeling. If they're feeling super tight and groggy, maybe it'll feel like I'm stirring some peanut butter. And if they're feeling a little loose and flexible, maybe it'll feel like I'm stirring a nice chicken noodle soup. <laughs> so let's take it to the opposite direction. Feel free to speed it up a little bit or slow it down. But always take those moments to check in with your body. Take little notes, little mental notes, anything that may be feeling a little tight and tension. Anything that comes up. Good. Bring it back to center. Place your right palm over to the right side, option to lower down to the forearm. And then reach up through the left arm. Reach the left fingers over to the right side. Keep the left arm alongside your left ear as you spread across the chest. Breathe into your left side body ribs. Now with every inhale, we want to find length as we reach through the fingertips. 
every exhale depth as we begin to get closer into that right side. Continue to breathe, nice deep breaths in and out of the nose. And then on your next inhale, slowly rise it up and take it over to the left side. So either lower down to the left palm or left forearm, reach up and over through the right arm. Right arm rests alongside, well hovers alongside that right ear. Open across the chest, breathe into the right side body ribs. Remember, inhale for length, exhale for depth. Continue to breathe. On your next inhale, slowly rise it up. This time, connect both hands together. And then exhale, lift out of your seat, fold it forward. Now, totally understandable if your palms can reach down to the floor just yet. You can always find a tent of the fingertips or you can reach down towards a block, a book or anything else that's handy that'll just raise the floor up a little bit for you. But most importantly, we wanna find a little bit of resistance here. So as you're reaching through the fingertips, I want you to push back through the hips. Continue to breathe in and out of your nose as you slowly begin to fold forward. Wherever you begin to land, just focus on that inhale for length, exhale for depth. So as we inhale, we press through the fingers as we reach the arms, finding that length. And then as we exhale, we push back through the hips, deepening the connection of the sits bones into your mat. Continue to breathe, few more deep breaths in and out of the nose. And then slowly begin to walk your way up. Once you've made your way up, let's move into a tabletop position. So come to all fours, shoulders stack over the wrist, hip points over the knees. We'll start with a little bit of wrist work first. So spread wide through the fingers, root through the backs of the knuckles, circumference of the palm, and then find a short shift forward, shoulders over wrists. As far as you can go, that's comfortable for you, but still a nice deep stretch into the wrists. And then on your exhale, push it back, hips to heels, press the mat away from you. So those fingers are still spread and rooted into your mat. Good. Inhale, shift forward, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, push back, hips to heels, press the mat away. Let's take three more. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more, inhale forward, and exhale back. Good, return to your tabletop position. Bring your fingertips to point to the outer edges of your mat, and just find a gentle rock side to side. Remember to keep those fingers spread, rooted into your mat, backs of the knuckles, circumference of the palm. So this connection into the mat is preparing us for the rest of our practice as we slowly begin to create that foundation of rooting into the earth. Keep it moving side to side. Take this moment to tune in with your wrists. What sensations are coming up? Is there any tension, any tightness? Or is this a pose of ease for you? Good. Bring it back to the center. Fingers point back to the front of the mat. Cat cow. On your inhale, lower down through the belly. Spread open across the chest. Lift with the chin. As you exhale, press through the mat. Find the arch in your back. Tuck the chin into your chest. Go ahead. Let's take four more. But make sure you connect this movement to your breath. So take it nice and slow. I like to visualize the breath as it flows up and down the spine with each and every inhale and exhale for each cat and each cow. You almost wanna feel as each vertebra isolates in the movement. 
And it also serves as a good way to tune in with the body. Let's take two more. And then return to neutral. Good, let's thread the needle. Shift your weight into your left palm. On your inhale, reach your right fingers up toward the ceiling. Take a deep breath in on your exhale. Thread the right hand behind the left. Begin to bend at the left elbow as you lower your right shoulder down to your left. Good, take a few moments of breath here. In and out of the nose. On your next breath, press into the left palm, slowly begin to unravel and turn the right fingers back up to the ceiling. And then release, let's switch sides. Shift the weight into the right palm. On your inhale, send your left fingers up. And then exhale, left hand behind the right, begin to bend at the right elbow, lower down to the left shoulder. Breathe into your stretch, it's a nice twist here. You'll feel that stretch along the upper back. Maybe a little in the mid back too. Uh, to release, press into your right hand, lift the left fingers all the way up to the ceiling and then release left palm back down to the mat. Child's pose, cross of the big toes, push back hips to heels, reach the arms out in front of you. Take a moment to reach the forehead down to the mat. If you're finding any discomfort as you press the hips back to the heels, you can also press that, I mean, put that bolster or that roll towel here behind the knees to alleviate any tension. You can also find a wide leg child's pose as you open the knees as wide as the mat to create a little bit more space. Take a few more breaths. And then when you're ready, let's take our first downward facing dog, tuck with the back toes, lift from the knees, push back and up. Find our downward facing dog, our inverted V. Spread wide through the fingers, root through the backs of the knuckles, circumference of the palms, press the chest towards the thighs, often to bend the knees here. If you need a little bit more of release in the legs, externally rotate through the arms as you spread the shoulder blades across your upper back. And slowly begin to walk your hands into your feet. Make your way to the back of your mat. We'll take it into reverse sun salutation A. On your inhale, gaze forward to the front of the mat. You can always find a bend to the knees wherever needed. And then exhale, fold, chest to thighs. Inhale, halfway, gaze to the front of the mat. And then walk it forward, find a high plank. Option to lower the knees if needed. But in your high plank, stack shoulders over the wrists, press the floor away from you. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, we'll find a slow lower to the ground. We'll lower to the knees first, and then a shift forward and lower belly to floor. Good. Untuck the toes to the tops of the feet. Hug the elbows into the sides. Inhale, low cobra. Spread open across the chest. Drop back through the shoulders. Exhale, tuck the toes. Send it up and back. Downward facing dog. Take five deep breaths here. Allow your head to hang heavy. Soften through the face. And find a gaze either towards the navel, the kneecaps, or the ankles.
And begin to walk your hands into your feet. We'll take two more of our reverse sun salutation A's. Inhale, halfway, gaze to the front of the mat. Exhale, full chest into your thighs. Shift the weight to the center of the feet. Good, inhale, halfway. Walk it forward, high plank. Option to lower the knees or take it all the way down. Deep breath in, exhale, slow lower, belly to floor. Inhale, low cobra, untuck the toes. Press through the tops of the feet, elbows into the sides. And rise, shoulders draw back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Begin to walk your hands into your feet. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Last one. Inhale halfway. Walk it forward, high plank. Deep breath in. Exhale lower, belly to floor. Inhale. Low cobra, spread open across the collarbones. Exhale, downward facing dog, five breaths. Walk your hands into your feet. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold chest to thighs. Inhale halfway. Let's take it into a rag doll. Open the feet a little bit wider and then wrap your arms around your elbows. You can find a generous bend to the knees. Uh, your torso to hang heavy. Just find a sway side to side. And return to center, release the arms. Heel toe the feet back together. You can find a gentle bend in the knees. And then lower it down to the floor and swing your legs around in front of you. Right leg stretched out in front of you. Inhale, reach up to the arms. Exhale, lift and fold it forward. Wherever you land, take your breaths there. Most importantly, we're working towards our inhale for length. As we reach towards the toes, Exhale for depth as we fold chest over thighs. Two more breaths. Inhale, reach forward, rise it up. Exhale, find your twist, open to the right side. Left hand comes to the outer edge of the right leg. Right hand plants behind the hips. Spread open across the chest, sit up nice and tall, breathe. Deep breath in, deep in the twist. 
And then exhale it back to center. Inhale, reach up both arms. Exhale, twist it open to the left. Deep breath in, deep in the twist. Exhale it back to center. Slowly bend up at the knees, Baddha Konasana, bound angle. Connect the soles of the feet together. Interlace the fingers around the toes. Press the soles of the feet together and use that resistance to draw down through the knees. You can sit up nice and tall, roll back through the shoulders and find your few breaths here. Or on your exhale, lift out of your seat, fold it forward. I like to press my elbows to the insides of my calves for a little bit of an additional stretch as I fold forward. But wherever you are, just take those nice deep breaths in and out of your nose. Good, one more deep breath in and out. Inhale as you rise up, exhale as you release, draw your knees together and then lower it down to your mat. Bring both thighs into your chest. Open your arms to cactus arms, so elbows in line with the shoulders, backs the hands, rest to the floor. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, lower both knees over to the right side. Inhale, both knees back to the center. And exhale over to your left side. Inhale, both knees back to the center. And on your exhale, find a Supta Baddha Konasana reclined bound angle, knees open out to the sides, feet connect, palms can either rest to the inner thighs or one hand to the stomach or next to the chest. Take a moment to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths here. With your eyes still closed, use your palms to draw your knees together. Release one leg at a time down to your mat. Find your final resting posture of Shavasana. Arms can rest alongside your body, palms face up. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Settle in. Take this final posture as a moment of rest and as a moment of reflection as well. As you continue to follow along the natural rhythm of your breath, the rise and flow of the stomach, take time to visualize and analyze any areas of the body that may be holding on tightness or tension, but also any areas of your body that are also at ease or at peace. Once you've allocated those areas, use your breath 
to send a little bit more healing sensation through those places. Slowly begin to bring movement to your fingers and your toes. Take a deep yawning stretch, reach your hands up overhead, stretch from head to toe. Curl it over to your side. Eyes are still closed. And then when you're ready, press your way up. Find a comfortable seat. You can keep your eyes closed for a few more moments here. We'll finalize the sequence with more breath. But this time, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Two more deep breath in. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Slowly begin to blink open the eyes, return to the space. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Until next time.